Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm glad you mentioned brand referral bonus program. That's my favorite. So again, for uh, our listeners, if you are brand registered, go sign up for brand referral bonus program that works together with Amazon attribution. So, and people neglect this. If you are going to send out an email to your mailing list, make sure you use those attribution tags. Otherwise, you're not going to get that 10%. That's how Amazon knows that external traffic came in. And, and then more important, when you log in to your advertising uh, menu, you'll be able to see how much you generated from each one of these campaigns. So what I usually tell people is, whatever your campaign is, create a separate attribution tag. So you can see, like for example, one of the things that I do, Josh, is I say, the listing that you launch on Amazon, don't put it on your website, but just create the page, but say that uh, purchase will be completed on Amazon. Uh, so that way you have leveraged your website. And at the same time, even if you run an external campaign on Facebook or leveraging your social media to drive people to your page on your website, when people see the coupon, the benefit or whatever that you are offering, if they are serious, they will go to Amazon. So therefore, you're going to reduce the the, the 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 unqualified traffic, so to speak. So your conversion rate on the external traffic will be much greater than sending everybody on your mailing list to your listing. The chances are some of them will not care to buy it at the time. They may buy it later, but you don't know. So I always say be careful sending external traffic to your listing directly without qualifying it because Amazon is looking at your overall conversion rate on that product detail page. And if you're sending so much traffic and they're not buying, then your conversion rate will suffer and that ultimately will hurt your ranking. Well, what do you think about using a, an intermediary page like that? Yeah, that's the jam, right? Because you want to take, you don't want to, like you said, uh, send a bunch of traffic that just bounces or to use a layman's terms that just goes, visits a site and moves away and doesn't purchase, right? You know, Amazon, I don't have data and I don't know if anybody does on the effect of poor conversion rates from external traffic. But I can tell you with Amazon traffic, if you're converting less than the industry average or your category average or things like that, Amazon does not reward you with more rank. So you want to send people that are going to buy. And I would assume that Amazon probably does pay a little bit of attention to your external traffic conversion rates. So like you said, if you can improve that with the extra page, the extra step, by all means, go, go for it. 